Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution of problem 1.128 from Mechanical Vibration SS Rao 6 edition. So, this problem is same in 5th edition of Mechanical Vibration. So, that's the statement of the problem. It's a shell and tube heat exchanger shown in figure 1.125a can be modeled as shown in figure for a simplified vibration analysis. So that is a simplified vibration analysis. Find the cross-sectional area of the tube so that the total stiffness of heat exchanger exceeds a value of 200 into 10 to raise per 6 Newton meter in axial direction and 20 into 10 to raise per 6 Newton meter per radian in tangential direction. Assume that tube have the same length and cross-sectional cross section and space uniformly. So that tangential direction mean that it is torsional. This is a torsional stiffness requirement and that is the axial stiffness requirement. This problem is solved in the solution manual, but the solution manual doesn't make any sense because the torsional stiffness comes here is 231 into 10 to raise power 3, so which is way much lower than the value which is required here. So to solve this problem, expression or formula for axial stiffness and torsional stiffness is required. Axial stiffness is calculated expression is derived using stress strain relationships and Hooke's law. So sigma is equal to El and based on that Ka is Ae. L, so that is expression for axial stiffness and for hollow tubes A is pi by 4 d or square minus d i square so that is the formula. Similarly for tangential direction so using torsion equation and Hooke's law so t over j j theta over l and t is equal to k theta k t theta so k t that is the torsional stiffness is j g over l and using value of j so that is an expression for k t now the next point here is to check whether the tubes are connected in series or parallel combination of equivalent springs so based on fact each tube experiences the same axial displacement under applied force and each tube share portion of total applied force. This correspond to parallel combination of spring. So K equivalent is sum of all. And in this case, K equivalent will be equal to 76 times K of each tube. And similar, uh, similar is for the torsional stiffness because each tube that experience same twisting angle Okay, and total torque is shared by each tube. So then tubes are also correspond to parallel combination of spring in tangential direction. Now to start this problem, because we are going to design or find the cross-sectional area of tube, find the cross-sectional area of the tube. So for that purpose, we need to calculate outer diameter of the tube for given values of E and G. So the given values of E and G like a standard from the book E is 210 gigapascal and modulus of rigidity G is 79.3 giga. Next we need to know like outer diameter is required. So we need to know that what is the relationship between outer diameter and inner diameter. So for that purpose, I am going to put that in Bing standard steel tube diameter for heat exchangers. And then it comes on this page like engineeringpage.com. And in that one, here are the diameters and that is the wall thickness. So like as when the outside diameter is around 50 so 
then 50 millimeter so then the tube is around 2.7 or here it, if the out diameter is 22 and then thickness is simple 2 so in most of these cases we can make an assumption that wall thickness is 10 percent of the outer diameter so based on the standard table assumption is do outer diameter is so the assumption is wall thickness is 10 percent of outer diameter so then inner diameter is outer diameter minus 2 times the wall thickness so then inner diameter that comes as 0.8 d so now we will use here that inner diameter is 0.8 of outer diameter. Now for axial stiffness requirement, the formula is Ka is equal to Ae over L. So then Ka equivalent is equal to 76 Ka and the formula of Ka from here A over L is 76 times Ae over L. So that value must be it says that exceed a value of 200 into 10 to raise per 6 newton per meter so it can be written as so that 76 a e over l must be greater than 200 into 10 to raise per 6 and this can be rearranged to get area l is being times there and 76 and e will be divided there so a must be greater than 200 into 10 to raise per 6 times l over 76 e and then after substituting the values of L and E. So after substituting value of L and E and calculating, so area comes as 25 into 10 to raise power 6, uh, 25 into 10 to raise power minus 6 meter squared. So that is the area requirement for, that is the area requirement for axial stiffness. But that is not appropriate area because here it is a find the cross sectional area of the tube. So that is not appropriate area because the reason is like we have to check it for uh, torsional stiffness as well. And for the torsional stiffness that uses J and in both A and J common is outside diameter. So we have to actually calculate outside diameter for both axial stiffness requirement and tangential stiffness requirement or torsional stiffness requirement and then we have to compare that which one we are going to use so now that is the area so for a comparison with torsional stiffness requirement we need to calculate outer diameter so that is a area which is pi by 4 d or is uh, squared minus d i raised squared so that formula can be used and that formula is in terms of inside diameter and outside diameter but we have to actually for the simplicity we have to calculate only outside diameter so then i can write inside diameter as 0.8 d outside in the equation and after simplifying it will become pi by 4 d o square and within bracket 1 minus 0.8 squared so then area must be greater than 25 into 10 to raise per 6 so then using that condition diameter can be calculated as so pi by 4 d o square into 1 minus 0.8 square must be greater than 25 and then it can be rearranged to get d o so d o is greater than 4 times the value of area divided by pi into 1.08 squared and outer diameter comes as it must be greater than 9.41 into 10 to raise power minus 3 meter and that is for axial stiffness requirement next one for torsional stiffness requirement kt equivalent is equal to 76 into kt and the formula of kt is jg over l so it can be substituted here and the torsional stiffness requirement it says that exceed 20 into 10 to raise power 6 so it means 76 j g over l must be greater than 20 into 10 to raise power 6 so this expression can be rearranged to get uh, make j a subject so it is 20 into 10 to raise power 6 into l over 76 g so g value 
is 79.63 gigapascal I'm using and length is 2. So then J can be calculated as. So J must be greater than L is 2. G, G is 79.3. It must be greater than 6.63 into 10 raised power 6 meter raised power 4. And now using this value of J, we have to calculate outer diameter to meet original stiffness requirement. And then for that purpose, I have to write J in terms of outer diameter, like DI, which is 0.8 D. So I can substitute here. So that's a J written in terms of outer diameter only. So that is pi by 32 D O raised by 4, 1 minus 0.8 raised by 4. And then J must be greater than that value. So then we can just substitute this value in terms of outer diameter here to get outer diameter. Now pi by 32 D O raised by 4, 1 minus 0.8 raised by 4 must be greater than 6.63 into 10 raised by minus 6. And then by rearranging that, so outer diameter must be greater than 32 times. 6.63 into 10 raised by 6 divided by pi and then divided by 1.8 raised by 4 and after calculate uh, like the calculation do comes as 103.417 into 10 raised by minus 3 now these are the requirements the first one that outer diameter is for to meet axial stiffness requirement and then this to meet torsional stiffness requirement now outer diameter to meet axial stiffness requirement must be greater than 9.4144 millimeter and outer diameter to meet torsional stiffness requirement must be greater than 103.417 so outer diameter to meet both requirement must be greater than 103 millimeter so that is uh, outer diameter so now this outer diameter is actually way higher than uh, first shell and tube heat exchanger as in here the standard size of that shell and tube heat exchanger so that is up to like two inches but anyway so that is 103 millimeter and the standard tubes which are available so they have the diameter of four inches so then commercially available tubes that have diameter of four inch or 101.6 millimeter so now here uh, one important thing is that uh, this design based on the requirement of torsional stiffness that a very high torsional stiffness is the requirement so this is not a realistic design but based on that what are the requirement of the question so that is outer diameter comes as 101.6 millimeter now assuming outer diameter is 4 inch and which is 101.6 into 10 to raise power minus 3 meter inner diameter is 80 percent of the outer diameter so which is 81.28 into 10 to raise power minus 3 meter and then substituting outer diameter in and inner diameter in area equation which is pi by 4 d o square minus d i square and then after calculating a comes as 3.0455 into 10 to raise power minus 3 meter square or area comes as 3 meter square so like area of each tube is 3 into 10 to raise power minus 3 meter square and that is the final answer to this question so I hope you find explanation of this design problem useful thank you very much for watching